had it on, so I thought my light on, <laughs> just so it looks really, really bright. Because it looks so dark outside, it was so dark, I was like, this isn't gonna work. And because I used my phone to film on, and the quality is like not quite the best with the dark light, and I was like, it's just gonna be pixels, not gonna be able to see me. So I've got my light on. So as you can tell from the title, this is a glow up with me. I thought it'd be fun. I mean, like, everyone I speak to, like, we've all given up on ourselves. <laughs> we feel like shit, so we just sit down and do nothing all day. And, like, we haven't tan like we normally would. We have makeup on, we don't do our hair. Like, what's the point? And I get it. But I've come to a revelation that it's not a waste of tan if you feel good about yourself. It's not a waste if nobody sees it because you spent the time with yourself, caring for yourself. And that's what matters, you know what I mean? Like your relationship with yourself and like, I'm I'm for it, I'm gonna do it. You can feel like you've put a FaceTime on with a friend and we're gonna do this together. We're gonna, we're gonna do it together. Or at least I'm gonna do it and you can sit and watch. <laughs> so I've got a few things on my agenda. It might be like a two day makeover thing. Cause obviously you might leave town overnight but my boyfriend's like a heater, so that's not practical. So I'm gonna leave it on over the day and then take it off in the evening. So I'm probably gonna do like my makeup tomorrow and then have like a, like a bad bitch day with everything done tomorrow. First steps first, we need to get in that shower. We need to make this not, not be this really. We need to double shampoo, get that conditioner in, leave it in whilst we do everything else. We've got to prep to tan, we have got to get in there, we have got to lather ourselves up, we have got to shave within an inch of our lives. We've got to exfoliate, get all of that dead skin away, exfoliate the badness. And come out and see smooth like a baby, moisturise ourselves. The most important thing about the shower is putting on a bad bitch playlist. You need to get in there, you need to put your speaker on and you need to blare bad bitch vibes i've got my own playlist if you don't there's loads on spotify just click one see if the song was a good feel it's a kind of spiritual awakening when you get in the shower and you feel like shit and then you put on those songs that just make you feel like i'm i, I am the the bitch i am that bitch and then you emerge soft as a baby's bottom and she's like, a new woman. <laughs> That's what I need. I need to be a new woman right now. So we're gonna do that. And then I always do my hair before I tan because I find otherwise I get really sweaty and then it ruin the tan. So I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna do my hair. I'm gonna straighten it because I like my hair straight. I don't know how to curl it. <laughs> I'd probably curl it by now. And then and then, and then, I don't know why I'm telling you I've finished a sequence, we're just gonna be doing it together, so we might as well get going. Right, so I'm just out of the shower. I've absolutely slathered myself in moisturizer, and I'm gonna let that sink in whilst I do my hair. So I'm just brushing it first, getting ah, the knots out, because my hair gets quite naughty. Ah. And then I'm gonna straighten my hair whilst I watch Real Housewives because I'm obsessed at the minute. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, I'm gonna use these two in my hair, heat protectant, and then some frizzies to help keep my hair straight because my hair doesn't do what you tell it to ever. So I'm gonna get that stuff in my hair. I'm gonna straighten it and then I will be back. <laughs>
So my hair is done. It's still a bit fluffy. My hair is always a little bit fluffy and frizzy, but it looks way better. I've always, I always feel better if my hair is straight. So now we've got to actually tan the annoying bit. I'm trying this be perfect tan today. It says 10 second tan, but like, it doesn't work. Um, I've lost my tanning mitt and no shops near me sell it. Cause you just, you just got like a co-op and an Aldi and they don't. So I'm using a sock. I read online you can do that. Get one of your partner's old socks. So I'm just gonna have to hide it from him. So he doesn't see. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna tan and then come back and I'll be a different color, which is fun. So tanned. You can tan with a sock, I'll tell you what it looks like after, but um, definitely not, doesn't save your hands. This, <laughs> I'm scared. I'm gonna clean do my face and then I'm gonna wash this off as much as I can. <laughs> but you, you can, I'll obviously show you it when it washes off tomorrow. But I'm just gonna mix some tan with some moisturizer to put on my face. Crazy. Sorry, I got YouTube on in the background. It's like YouTubeception. But yeah, and then I always do that as well. Don't want white, white eyelids. See how I'm gonna go wash my hands off and then try and apply some more of it on this. Right, wash off what I can. This is gonna be a mess. So I'm just gonna get the top of my hands. At the minute, it seems to have just sat. In every single dry bit I've got in my life. So I'm gonna dry a little bit. I'm gonna do the baby powder trick to stop being sticky on the places that go sticky. How do I clean this out? This makes it in the lid, but now I'm stuck with a tanning lid. So I'm going on to my nails now because this makes me feel grotty AF. Not a vibe. I'm usually acrylics. I was thinking about last night. I have not gone and had my nails done before this a year. Last March was the last time I had my nails done. And I'm usually one of those girls I go every three weeks. disgusting how disgusting i know that they open back up for a bit so it's not like they've been shut for an entire year but when they did open back up i wouldn't allow to open back up so i'm making no money <sighs> so i'm just taking off that little bit of nail polish but i thought i'd sit and chat to you whilst i do this bit have a little bit more because i said like facetime with your friend vibes and then <laughs> not really I mean, I can't really show you, you, me in the shower, or me tanning, can I? Maybe you used to see that. But yeah, how are you? How are you coping? I feel like an overwhelming majority of not coping is what's happening for most people at the minute. But then I see some people and they're like living their best positive life. Like they're really like, it's a new month, like January was just shit, like it's gonna be fine. And like, I wish I had that mindset. I wish I could be like, yes, February, here I come. It's a nice short month. It's a cute little rectangle in the diary, in the calendar, but I ain't feeling it, babs. Weather's still shite. So I'm just not feeling it, but we're gonna try. We're also going to ignore, cause I've just proven to you that socks don't work that well. So that's fun. In the afternoon. I've got 
some stick-ons from the first lockdown my I was gonna say my hairdresser not my hairdresser my nail girl was doing them so I've got this cute set which is how cute and then I don't even know what the other one is oh we got some Opity beauties oh I don't know which ones to wear I might go leopard print my hair's quite frizzy but that's we're gonna ignore this because that tan is really clung to every dry bit I'm not a fan I don't think it's gone that nice of a colour like my this is not too bad like I know it's only been on for like two hours but it said instant colour my hands out but like I'm not I'm not looking at tan you know why did I stray from my tried and trusted how a set time already three seconds <laughs> girl now what do I go from like pinky to big pinky to I'm left handed so if I leave that hand for last I don't know guys I don't know how I think because I used to have my acrylics really long so like these are really long and like I've not had anything on my nails for like so long it's gonna be so weird but I'm gonna feel like a bad bitch is worth it right Right, so. Do I put it on my nail? On here. What do they do when they do it in the nail shop? They put it on the tip, don't they? Yeah, sound sorted. You really do only have three seconds. I put it on a little bit wonky and I wanted to move it, but it was, it was done, it was on. Oh, I'm so... I can't wait to hear the click clacks. I can't wait to like be texting here like <laughs> makes me feel really, really good about myself. Makes me feel like I have important things to say. But yeah, I don't really know. I think I think if I was still working I might feel better about the whole situation. But then again you're just working on might be's like you might feel worse because then you're stuck in a situation and you've got to like force yourself to work I think if I had to work from home I mean I work from home anyway but I think like if I used to work in an office and then I had to work from home I'd already struggle because like half of your routine is out like you're not able to like commute and like your motivation for getting up and getting ready is just nil to none mine definitely would be anyway what's the first thing that you're gonna go and do once like the world is more normal again i can't wait to go and get my nails done properly get my hair done Ooh, bitch i need that done i can't wait i just can't i just can't wait to see my friends like even if we don't go out and do anything like i just want i just want them to come here i want to give them a cup of tea and a hug i just want to hug them I think I'll cry. I honestly think the next time I see my friends, I'll cry. Like, my cousin's my best friend and I've not seen her since September. Like, I couldn't even see her. Like, like when we were kids, like, we would see each other every, every weekend. And then in the week, like, and now here we are. So I feel like you can't see me, but I don't really, I don't really know how to get you to see. I'm just kind of holding them and pressing and hoping and wishing. They always seem to be on an angle. Definitely better than nothing though. It just looks like me again, like just. I'm going to have to like relearn how to like. That's the only thing with nails is once you've got them on, you've got a reeler on how to do everything because they're long. You've got, like, I find you've got a text different. Everything you do is different and because I haven't had them in so long. But it was like that when I got my nails taken off. Everyone was like, oh, like, I never understood how you do everything with your nails anyway. And I'd look at them and be like, I'm struggling now. Because I was so used to it. I had them on for years and years and years. That's a bit dramatic. Probably like three four four years I had them on consistently and 
I was just so used to it that when they came off, I didn't know how to do things without nails on. And now I'm gonna have that like wobbly dilemma where I've got a text really slow and every other word is illegible. <laughs> like, completely illegible. I'm gonna have to be careful of car doors. I find that's the one thing of nails. It's like when you open it, say that it's been raining, like your hand like slips up and then like, cause you're like pulling it to open it, instead of it going on your fingers, it goes on your nails and then like almost pulls your nail off. So painful. Clickety clack, my bitch is back. So I think I'm just gonna go from pinky again. I feel like that makes the most sense. Although this is probably gonna be the most difficult. So it's three seconds. Like I know you need it fast drying, but hun, three seconds. Look, I'm sure it's probably been more than three seconds already, and I've not even got it stuck to my skin. Now, not my skin. Oh god. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to film this. I think I've been thinking that there's so many things that I've not been doing personally. And like, I'll be talking to my friends and they'll say the same. And I've been seeing it with like girls talking about it on TikTok or like their Instagram stories. And it's just like, there's just no, uh, there's no point to getting ready. Like you're not going anywhere. So there's no point in putting tan on, but then you feel like shit cause you're really, really pale and you look ill or do you know what I mean? Or you're gonna put off doing your hair because that's an extra hour, two hours, depending on, you know what I mean? And you don't know, just not got the motivation. And actually there is a point, like it makes you feel better about yourself. And <clears throat> the whole act of getting ready is self-care. And I think self-care is so important, especially in these times. You know what I mean? Like the only person you've really got right now is you. You've, you know what I mean? You've got your friends and your family and like if you live with like anybody like, but most of them aren't physically with you right now and you're spending so much time alone with yourself and it can be so daunting and so scary. But learning to take care of yourself and love yourself is so important. Starting with that basic of like, why do you tan because you feel like you look better with the tan it reminds you of warmer weather of when you're like you know what i mean so like lush and then you're like oh but i'm not gonna tan like i feel like shit because i'm pale and every time i look in the mirror i don't like that but i'm not gonna tan because i'm not going out so it's a waste like if it makes you feel better it's not a waste like and i think so much self-care does go into stuff like tanning because you do that massive shower beforehand and you exfoliate and you got to do your moisturise and then the days after you've tanned you moisturise and everything every day where you might not necessarily want to have the effort to remember to but when you've got your towel and you wake up you look in the mirror and you're like I need to moisturise that I need to keep that lasting longer so I ain't got to do it again <laughs> as soon and I just think it's so important to lay out those standards and like if you do it to look good in your pics for Instagram on a night out or you do it so that your outfit looks better so a boy fancies you like it's worth doing it just for you I just think taking that time to dry your hair straighten your hair curl your hair however you like your hair like if you like it plaited like taking that time whether it takes you 10 minutes or an hour is really important to be like hey like I'm doing this for myself because I love and take care of myself and I want myself to feel good I think it's so important and I feel like I've not had the motivation, nobody really has, and I feel like this video has given me the motivation. And it's nice because I feel like I'm sat here speaking to like a friend on FaceTime and it all feels a little bit more worth it. You know what I mean? But I do really want to get back into a routine with doing stuff like this, just so I feel good. Oh, that is well wonky, Charlie. Have I got time to take that off? No. Shit. Now, the moment of truth. Can I text? Can I even get it? It's not recognised my thumbprint. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is going all fully. And even if I do this, but then I'm typing weird anyway. Oh, oh no. Oh God, I have to go in with that finger. Oh, that's... Oh! 
that's so yeah for our little transformation glow up we've now tanned washed our hair we've straightened it which is how i feel oh this is my hair is taken over i need it cut i need it dyed i need these front bits i usually get shorter and they're like way long as well but i feel a bit more bougie i'm gonna do like bad bitch makeup tomorrow because i gotta let this develop i think that's the only thing left to do now it's just the bad bitch makeup put on an outfit that makes me feel cute take some pics for the gram but yeah so i'm gonna come back when i've got my makeup on and everything tomorrow and i'll show you like the result of the tan i might film the bad bitch makeup i might film it and then upload it as a video like next sunday like the sunday after this 